The Cold War. This was a conflict between the capitalism which was led by the United States and the communism led by the Soviet Union. In this war, some heavy vessels were made for combat. One of these vessels the Soviet Union made were submarines. And one of these submarines is completely abandoned. So, we had to explore it. You are watching to explore mode. Let's start off the adventure where everything began. Me and Moreno traveled to Amsterdam with all the equipment we needed and eventually took the ferry to a location. And then... Right over there, you see it. There she was. A 90 meter long submarine floating on the water. I can still feel the nerves thinking about traveling with the rubber boats to this massive abandoned ship. Alright guys, so we made it. We're in Amsterdam right now. And I'm not alone. But over here is Riemann sitting in the car. Thinking about what's gonna happen, so... Are you excited? Yeah. A little bit. A I little know. bit? Well. <laughs> and over there is Basti on the phone right now. Bas? Hi! Buongiorno! Buongiorno! Well, on there is Patrick, the man himself. <laughs> How you doing, brother? What's up, everyone? <laughs> so we're waiting here to get into the, the submarine, but it's kind of really stupid. People are around everywhere. Police across our street. Um. <laughs> they are like routine controls, right? Yeah, I guess. It's, um, and besides that, yeah. the water is freaking cold right now, yeah, man. And it's huge waves, so I guess we all get drowned. Yes, you heard that right. They are walking a lot of people because of the ferry that leaves every 50 minutes next to the submarine. We already saw the police three times in 45 minutes. And we didn't choose the best day, because it was minus 1 degrees outside. So, if he fell down into the water, I don't want to think about what could have happened. But, the reason why we were here, is because there were rumors of taking the submarine away. So this was our last chance to see it. And after all, we are urban explorers, and this is what we do, and what we love, no matter what. Unless this happens. Hi guys. Hi. Are you going to the submarine? Yeah. Okay, they will arrest you. A man talked with us and he told us that a lot of people get caught and the police will arrest them. So we asked the man if it's a better idea to go at night. He told us that it was even a dumber idea to go at night. Man, this was our last chance to go to the submarine. So we're really disappointed. After a long doubt, we decided to go anyway. But we planned to go by night. Even if this was a dumber ID, this was our only way to explore the submarine. Now let's take you to the history of the submarine. This submarine is better known as Foxtrot. It was built in the harbor of Riga under the type name B-80. This was a Russian Soviet Navy submarine built as a weapon in the Cold War. This submarine is actually a Zulu class submarine. The Foxtrot class submarine 
was a replacement of the Zulu ones. 26 boats were built in total and this is one of them. This one was built in 1956 in the harbor of Riga. Some Dutch businessmen bought the submarine in 1991 and it was delivered from Riga to Den Helder. In 2002 the submarine got sold to an architect from Amsterdam for 56,000 euros. The boat arrived to this place in Amsterdam. But the plans from the architect didn't pass through because he didn't have enough money. After all, the submarine got sold to a Turkish man to take the submarine away and destroy it to use the parts. This plan also got cancelled and the submarine is left over here and it is completely abandoned. Until now, they are trying to take it away and eventually destroy it to use the parts of it. Now let's go back to our adventure. We prepared the boats but there was one problem. How disappointing it was, we had to think about our safety. We couldn't go with all four of us because this was too dangerous with the small boats we had. So after a good conversation, Moreno and Patrick decided to go, while me and Bestie waited on land. There they went, paddling to the submarine in this ice cold water. Well, and after all, I hope you liked the story and just let's give Moreno the word right now so you can enjoy this crazy experience. Okay guys, so look. Oh, this thing. Yeah, we actually made our way inside. And right over here, you see actually where the people look through in the submarine. It's so cool. So over here, the Navy could look through the thing to see if there were any boats nearby. And right over here, it's kind of a meter. And it's also written in Russian, and I don't know what it means. But it looks like a compass, but nah, no, it's not a compass. I have no clue what it is, but maybe something for the pressure or something. Awesome. It's really cool. All the buttons. This is a really special find. Man, look at all the meters. Okay, guys. And over here, we have this structure. And if we open it, it's pretty heavy. We can actually go one level down. Yeah, amazing, bro. All right, guys, you can't experience what we have to do to approach the submarine. I'm here with uh, Patrick. What's up, everyone? Check out from Topi Urbex. And Topi Urbex will put the channel link down in the description. This guy has an amazing channel. He makes German Urbex videos. You definitely should check him out too. So we're below sea level right now, dudes. Yeah. Can you imagine we're below sea level? It's crazy. Just don't think about it. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at it. I'm now in the machinery room of the submarine. And it looks so sick. Wow. Here you have all the parameters. I can't translate it because I really don't know what it all means, but this one actually still works. Look, look at the meter guys. If I turn this over here, the meter is actually still working. Wow. That's really cool. Over here are some other buttons. such a construction you can't imagine how cool it is I'm really glad I can see it with my own eyes right now Wow there 
there's so much panels I really don't know where to look over here also behind me there's even more as you can see it goes all the way here it's really incredible so let's explore the next part over here we can enter a room a really small room wondering what this room was actually used for ah so this was actually for the electricity and everything I know because it's written in Dutch over here as you can see much of the power of the submarine was coming from this little room over here really cool guys and look at this over here this whole panel has all numbers from 1 to 10 then it has this Russian letters on it really cool this also looks like some machinery actually really nice that you can still open it all the buttons are really incredible look what's that you guys hear that noise oh my god that means we're actually below sea level right now now the force is off the sea we heard from the ferry which comes here every 15 minutes wow look this is even a toilet so this is where they went to the toilet okay so over here we come to another room Unfortunately, I don't know what everything means, but yeah, to imagine this was actually used in battles and wars, even that's so cool. It's really an exclusive location. Okay guys, so we can go right through this hole over here, so let's see what we can find. Whoa, some more machinery. And it looks like that back in the days actually someone would sit right here, controlling everything. I really can imagine back in the days when they had to fight with a submarine and the war investigations that they were standing in a chair right over here and that someone would sit right over there and control everything okay guys so let's go a little further there are actually plenty of rooms here here I can even go more down whoa look as a mannequin laying on the ground over here that's even some Christmas decoration can't believe how long it is laying here alright guys so check out what we can find wow there's even another part of the mannequin it even goes way further it's a massive structure Those are even some shoes. This is a big chance that are military shoes. And that fact is incredible. Wow. Look over here. Oh, it doesn't smell good over here though. It smells like oil 
and gases and everything. I think this was the main machinery part. I think most of the electricity actually came from this place because as you can see everywhere this is a huge yeah I don't know the, these are like huge machineries and yeah you see all the gasoline and everything was inside over here Guys, as you can see, the raindrops are just on the roof. All these little raindrops. That's because of the high humidity of the air. So, as you can see, you could go upstairs right here and then you're outside the submarine but right now it's closed and right over here you even see the rest of which once was a kitchen look at it they would cook over here if they were on a journey for like weeks all the food the soldiers eat it was made on these pits incredible all right guys so we climbed through that hole over there what we actually found are the remains of an old bar that's incredible to imagine that yeah, the navy or the soldiers from Russia the Soviets were actually having a beer right there if they had a break and they were not on a journey or on an attack mission or something. <laughs> they got Man. all the way down from Russia to this place and never left. Man. You know what would actually be cool? What? If there were still some glasses. Oh! It's actually on it's not a glass, it's a jar. Yeah. It's even. The old flashlight. Man, the wall bar is incredible. As you can see, the upper part is fluted, and I don't think this is only water because it really looks like much oil and everything. And right over here, that would actually sleep someone. And it's so great to see that it is so well left. It's only broken in the middle. Man, and there's our little refrigerator just standing here. Wow, wow guys, so this is actually the place where all the torpedoes, all the missiles are actually shot right beneath the sea. And it's actually huge, you can see the inside of it, so right over here it would place a torpedo and then it would lands through this huge hole and come out right at the end and you actually see the Soviet stars then you know this place was used in the Soviet era
this was the attack room over here guys as you can see behind me all the torpedo all the missile launchers are behind me that's absolutely cool I can't believe that they leave a place like this abandoned a Russian submarine you can't imagine how much money this is even worth it's worth a lot of money it's a real investment for an army to build and to buy a submarine like this I never thought I would explore something like that when I began with our channel but yeah this is definitely urbex to maximum potential right guys as you can see the blue things right over here was to store torpedoes on it so they were actually laying right over here and then over here they would shoot with them. I think it's a good point to end the video because we have to go back to our boats and make sure we're safe. So I want to thank you for this journey together with me. Together with Explomo, Raymond is on the side. Our respect to him for waiting and watching if it's safe for us. Yeah, we both want to thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you liked it, like, subscribe, comment below. Like it, like it, like it, like it. And then we see you guys on another exploration next week. See you guys. Bye bye.